students really love to socialize, so when you provide a platform where they can do that in a safe and responsible manner, it really kind of brings out the true character of um, how they socialize, how children now socialize these days, right? So one of those is Seesaw, and Seesaw is a friendly um, app available to any platform. Um, this is the iPad version. As you can see, all my classes are here. Let's take a look at this one. Um, all of the class journals are over here. Students log in and join the class, and then they can start to use this as a digital journal to kind of um, to kind of track like their digital footprints and what they do inside the walls of school. So it's just another way for them to socialize and interact with one another. Beyond that, um, just their parents and families can link to just uh, to their specific journal even though you're seeing that i can see um, everybody's journal here um, families can really just see their own kids so let's take a look at some of the things that do happen here for example this one here uh, in a collaboration with a music teacher this person did a quick read in music class uh, regarding um, beethoven i believe and then all of his classmates came and just kind of like the video, all right? Um, one of the person, Lydia, right here, uh, wrote, nice job, Wraith. So it's just a nice way for kids to interact digitally, okay? A um, few more examples, a lot of likes here by students. Um, this person here, Isabel, posted, we did bring a fire, which is an activity that we use for conducting overhand throw. Um, Noah here liked that picture that was posted. So kids can interact with one another, but only the child can post to their own journal, but it can be seen from others too. So we talked about um, just uh, um, ethical use of um, digital technology for um, things like socialization purposes and stuff. So, all right, so that's pretty much it. Seesaw um, as a way for socialization, as a means for um, building life skills with students these days.